Yo, so the opinions and views expressed in this podcast are that of our own and the future Bachelor podcast only and not affiliated with any outside party or entity or anything like that. This fun podcast, though, may include some adult language. Future Bachelor podcast. Well, um, you know, why don't we just get into what we like to do around here, you know? Right. Yeah, you know, this is like where the sound would go off. This that stuff. time we're talking about. Yeah. This that time to talk about VIP on our show. <laughs> That's Bachelor in Paradise. But YouTube, you know what? I need you to go ahead and subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we drop new Bachelor content just like this. And if you did just now, a ah, huge shout out to you. Ooh wee! <laughs> you know, usually yeah, there be air horns for <laughs> you. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, you know, of course, we have to shout out to our comment crew. Um, this is the people that leave comments on our video, and you can get a, a shout out as well too if you just leave a comment. It could just be like, "Hey, I just subscribed to you," or "Hey, um, this is what's happening." You know, we got the comment crew. We have a nice little crew growing here, and shout out to the family of uh, Catherine Ann, and we got Chelsea Allen and. And Kathleen Kent, of course. So all these like C and K names. I know it's like, it's like comment it's, crew, really. Yeah, wow, man. You know, there's a theme going on here, and let's keep it going. Do you have a yeah. name similar to our comment crew? You know, join the family. Comment. Um, yeah, just comment. <laughs> you know, um, but why don't we get into this week's episode, uh, week five uh, of the, you know part one, part two. A lot going on. V. I'm gonna need you to keep us on track, but it got real crazy there at the end. So we got a lot to get through. All right, let's start off. Night one, as we know, Lisa has gone back to the beach to uh, talk to Rodney. And, uh, you know, everybody's... Rodney just got back from his great date with Eliza. They're feeling it. The girls pretty much take in Eliza, being like, let Rodney deal with that. You don't need to get involved just yet. And uh, Rodney and Lace go and talk and you could tell Rodney's like trying to figure out the best way to just let her down easy. And he tries, he lets her down. I don't know if it was easy, but he lets her down and Lace is upset. And you could tell like, I mean, my thing is, yeah, I get it. Like she's 32 or whatever. And like, there's a lot of women I know in my life that are that age and feel like, you know, I can't believe I have to start over again. But also like you're on a reality dating tv show like let's be real here but um sad times lace you know gets support and hugs from all the other dudes after she tells them that other hot guys are with their ladies at the estates and then she you know dips and leaves so (laughs) she drops that little bomb uh on them and then because of that, Brandon's freaking out a little bit because he's all like, they do some flashbacks to him and Michelle and like whatever. He's all like, I'm falling in love with Serene. I can't get hurt again. Like, I I trust her. But like, what if? What if? Like, this is just scary territory. And it's, you know, things are getting real. Things are getting real. Um, um, yeah. I mean, I feel like Lace handled it as well as. As I, best she could. Yeah. You know, good for her. Uh, What else we got going on here? Things are also getting real because Jesse comes. I just love. (laughs) Ray, lay down. (laughs) Um, I just love that whenever Jesse goes and meets with the girls, they literally groan. They actively are groaning and they're all like, oh, what are you doing here? And he just walks up with a smirk on his face and he like, he's like, can I sit down? They're like, sure, make yourself comfortable, Jesse. Yeah. And he's like, I, uh, I just, I don't know why, but I hate Genevieve's face when, when he comes into the room. It's just it's, like, I know. Well, she's did just you not know like, what show you signed up for? She's so pissed. Um, and it's so funny because like, they're all losing it. And then he's all like, yeah, as you guys know, Lace isn't here. She went down to the beach she, um, you really <laughs> I can't see. Just keep talking. Um, <laughs> Lace went down to the beach, talked to Rodney. Things didn't go well. She's gone. And everyone's like, ah, shit. If that could happen, like, it could happen to all of us. Um, 
And then I think, honestly, this is savage of Jesse. He's all like, how are you guys feeling about these dudes? And then like they're like, ah. <laughs> and, they're, and he's like, what about Rick? And they're all like, he's nice. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Something weird. Something felt really weird about this part. Did it not it feel felt weird. Off? It felt weird because then they're like, what about Olu? And, and they're like, ah. And then and he's they all like. I don't even feel like they said that at all. Like, did Olu do something? I feel like there there must have been something because I had seen, uh, I guess Brandon had posted something to his story about like being all like they're not even going to air all the shit that this guy this man did blah, blah blah and then took it down from his story and it was about Olu so I don't know if there's something that went down with him and the women or something because in one of the previews weeks back. I remember seeing Shanae making out with Olu, like in her little green bikini and Olu. Like they're both very distinctive looking people. Like there's no way it wasn't them making out. Like I don't like, so I don't know if. Do you think we maybe made a move on. uh, On Serene? On Serene? I think so. Yikes. I think so. Um. But so I don't know. So Jesse sends Rick and Olu home because the girls come to a consensus that they don't see anything with them. Yeah. Which I was like, wow, damn. But uh, Adam, Tyler and Alex get to stay, which means, you know, they're they're going to start getting into the mix in a little bit later. But meanwhile, back on the beach, Kate is here stirring the pot. Ran after Sarah and Logan have this great fun date Kate decides to slide in at like 1.30 a.m. and talk to Logan and is like, I think we really have something here. We should really pursue it. And this is when, you know, Geometry Beach is deemed because this is it's more than just a triangle at this point because we got Logan. We got Shanae and Logan. We've got Logan and Sarah and we've got. Logan and now Kate and Kate's friends with Sarah and like, you know, Kate and Sarah all know Shanae from their season with Clayton. And, you know, it's and then like, you know, you got Shanae who used to have James, but James is out of the picture. And then, you know, Johnny, who's talking all about he's our professor of yeah. Geometry Beach, doesn't even know about what Shanae's got going at the estates. I mean, so I feel just, like it's going to get even the, the equation is going to get even more complicated you know, as the next week comes, you know? Um, oh, yeah. It just gets so crazy. Like, I mean, you saw me watch the end of the episode. I did. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? No! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like, you know, people, sides are just being added and subtracted to this to this shape. I don't even know what shape it is anymore. But <laughs> um, so, you know, Sarah's real torn up about the whole Kate sliding in. Logan and her have a conversation that it doesn't go well because he she feels blindsided because she's like, what the fuck was our date then? Like you were acting like you were all into me and I was into you. And now you're just going to sidle up to to Kate. And, the, you know, it's not it's, he's OK with it because he's all like me and Kate feeling each other. Um, Dude, and time is crazy on the beach, man, because it's like. They forget in like a day. They for, and like Kate was literally like all over Jacob. Kate was like in the hot tub with Jacob. Kate was all like getting cheers from people about making out with Jacob. And then she gets this date card and everybody is expecting her to take Jacob. But she's all like, Jacob, can I take you for a second down to the beach? And everyone's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and, you know, she lets him down easy and then homie has to go do multiple meditations just to feel better and then her and logan go off on their little spa date to rub each other down with some salt scrubs um i'm so over the the rubbing dates there's so many rubbing dates it's just it's just like they're like "Mm, well this is cheaper than having to hire anybody to do anything so we'll just like have them put like we'll just put out some masks and shit and like have them go at it right but you have to say that the, the the filming of like Logan's face through the massage table 
was kind of hilarious. <laughs> totally. Um, I mean, that's probably why they, they choose to do that. Cause that's an, a hilarious hang, angle to shoot anyone. Um, yeah. So that date goes good. You know, these guys are pretty much in the clear except for when Shanae will have to come back and they have to have a conversation. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But- what, I don't know why. Um, Logan is so enamored by Kate. Like, you know, I-, I don't know either. Kate to me feels like she just has a lot of teeth. And um she actually oh, we didn't like- talk about did we talk about Sarah? What about Sarah? Like she was like cracking her fingers and stuff while the conversation was happening. I was like, Oh my gosh. And he's like, Can I hold your hand? And she's yeah. like, uh I guess. she's like yeah, she's I mean, like, obviously uh- the right move would have been to pull her aside before you said yes. But, right. you know, they these guys have already, you know, been uh, in cahoots. So um, yeah. they have a great day. Uh, what are we, we're back on the beach. We're back. Let's go back to the estates really quick because oh. there's just some funny moments on the estates. I love this arc of now Shanae and Genevieve being besties. They're like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They're like getting drunk, having a great time. I think that was fun. Um, and then also another funny moment, which would have been like perfect if like she actually ended up pick if Shanae ended up picking a what's his name that went home. James. Like, they could have really just been a whole you know a yeah. whole little quadrant. Yeah, they could have um, had a whole spinoff show with just them. Oh, for real. Uh, because then they even joked to like, what if we just ran away with each other, like you know Aaron and James <laughs> did. Like, and I'm like, those girls were getting drunk. Bet. I loved it. I loved it. And then it's so funny because then the girls were praying to baby Jesus for it to rain on the beach. And Victoria made a funny comment being all like, we got to stick with baby Jesus because older Jesus is tired of our shit. He's 33. He's done with it. And I was like, that's hilarious. That is so good. Older um, Jesus. Like, I get like the the Holy Trinity, but I don't think it works like that. Like, no, it doesn't. Three ages it's of a- Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean they were like you know falling all over doing like twerking or dancing by the pool they're so fun i mean like it's they're having fun by themselves because most of them aren't into the dudes that are there but um victoria does actually start to give one of the dudes that's at the estates a chance but she is torn because she likes johnny a lot but you know she was excited to see alex alex is a little bit more established she's 33 she's 28 so she's my age um and uh so i get that like i feel like that like really early the early 30s nice little nice little age range for me personally as a 28 year old so um she's excited about that and like she finally kind of starts to let her walls down with him and then she gets a date card so her and alex get to go on a little datey date and things are looking looking good. They seem to be on the same page about a lot of things. She, you know, says that he's checking some boxes and he's just different than Johnny. And like, you know, she's but she's torn. She doesn't know what she's going to do because she wants to pursue him, but she doesn't know, which we'll get more into that in a bit. And then meanwhile, Brittany Still has her eyes set on Tyler because, like, they vibed, even though Sinead took him on a date. And they end up going and hanging out and pretty much just making out for a long time in the pool. And Sinead is all like, where's Tyler? What's going on? Like, blah, blah, blah. And Genevieve is like, uh, as we said, her little Tweedledum being all like, if Aaron was here doing this, I would throw eggs at him. It was so funny. I'm like, you guys are yeah, dumb. Yeah, is like, are you screaming at me? She's like, yes. <laughs> because she- you're assuming, girl. <laughs> well, she you assumed, could tell she was right. like trying this- to girl boss her the heck out of that situation. Well, you know, Genevieve goes sneaking around to see where, where they are. And they are. Making they are, out. And she's like, never mind. I'm not going to tell Sinead. <laughs> Totally. Um, You know, I don't know, though. This is just like Shanae, classic Shanae, getting mad about things. She's she's slipping back into her Shanae ways. Yeah. Um, Sineado. You know, I think, uh, I think, I don't know, man. I really don't know about any of these people. I know this is what the beach is about. 
and they're creating this drama and stuff. But it's like no one is loyal to anyone on this show. It feels like they did this the messiest way they could have. Like, I know they can't, like, totally rip off Love Island. Uh, yeah, Love Island. But I just feel like they the way that they went about this was so messy and, like, set stuff up to be, like, betrayal because they didn't know that the girls were going to find guys and the girls didn't know, like, how that all was going to work. Like, I just feel like the way they set this, this all up. This messy island. It's messy island, yeah. yeah. Because they this is this is not how you find love. This is not no. you know not I, by making people jealous or making people feel bad. Yeah, or just like like mentally tormenting them. Like, you know, it's just they're set up to fail. Like yeah. it, it it really is. I mean, think about it. Like what are you supposed to do? Like you're you're you have to, it's almost mm. like uh, I think about it as like when I seen the challenge or like those game shows like at the end, it's like you you both choose to uh like keep the money or like one person gets to keep the money or right. like you know what i'm saying like one person like if you both decide to keep the money then you split it if one person right. decides to keep the money and you decide to not to that one person gets all the money but if you both decide i don't know how it breaks down but if you both decide to keep the money then no one gets the money type thing right yeah. Right. I, I, I'm like, a little tired, like those, but you guys should have viral gotten videos back. that are all like, you can either keep this five dollars or have it doubled for the next person situation. It's like kind of like, are we gonna be a good person and keep it? Or are we gonna be a bad person? And but you, you can know, never like, tell what the other person's gonna do. That's my point. Right. So right. it's just like so. it's like you're set up to lose. Um, right. But not everyone. But the lucky ones. But um, yeah. So anyway, anyways, uh, let's you know, get into night two. Night two. Thank God. Night two, um, you know, everybody's waiting pretty much for shit to hit the fan, shit to hit the beach, if you will. Jesse ends up sending the girlies back to the beach. I kind of want to know how they did this because it looked like at first that they were all in a sprinter together, but then it's like they kind of send them out in spurts. So I don't really know. Yeah, the, what really confused me was the Jill and Jacob talk. Like, how did they postpone that so long? I don't know. Or like, how was, how did that all work? Because like they first show, like you see Jill, Shanae and Genevieve walking up first, but then like you, you see Genevieve run off to Aaron freak out because she was so worried that he might've like, you know, been know. going seeing, on dates. Seeing the way like Jill and Genevieve came down to the beach just annoyed the shit out of me for whatever reason. They were just so like anxious they just like were like eyes on the prize we got to figure this out we got to figure this out and like genevieve just had like a full like meltdown and like aaron's all like it's okay we agreed that this is what we wanted like we're good and they are they're all good um shanae runs and talks to logan and that doesn't they have like multiple conversations and none of which go well the first one, he pretty much is all like, I felt unheard and like whatever by you, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I'm I'm got something else going here. Like I actually went on these dates and after I you know I saw you doing all this with James, I felt like I had the right to do this and this and that, which I feel like he's not wrong. Maybe he shouldn't have framed it that way. Maybe. maybe yeah, I mean, he could have taken the high road and throw it back in her face like that. Maybe just be like, hey. You know, well, yeah, and she got really defensive about it. Right. Um, she didn't take it well. And the whole thing was just messy because they It was messy and then like Kate's in the background at one of the talks, like laughing and like whatever. And well, I'm she all, like, straight up is like, I feel good, like this is being sadistic. She's like, I won and like they show which I forgot about this, but during the women tell all like Kate tried to get her 15 minutes of fame by like saying stuff at Shanae. And I'm all like, wow, somebody has been, I feel like Kate's been holding on to that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Kate wanted it's to funny, make sure It's funny she, because she's the one that's like, we're not talking about this. And Shanae's like, bitch, like, yes, we are. This is life. I don't care if this is a whole nother show. This was like within the last year that you were like dogging me on national television. Like, you know, right. And, and right. obviously, yeah. I mean, obviously Kate like didn't let it go either. 
So no. honestly, and Kate had some balls. Like Shanae is first of all, like Kate's small, little. Shanae is built. She's a taller girl. She's muscly. She you could tell she's an What are you gonna like do? A, Kick her ass on the beach in front of everybody? Bro, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but like it's just not you know, the move, you know? And I don't think Shanae's like that. Yeah, yeah, you ought to. You could tell, you could tell Shanae was like, I got to keep myself away from her because like, you could tell she was like, I got to walk away because if she got in arm's reach, you don't want to be within arm's reach because things could get nasty. I don't know. I think Kate could like scrap. She, she oh, I'm scrappy. sure she could scrap, but she's like a little L.A. She like works for the Oppenheim group. She's a little real estate agent like in L.A. So, um, well, yeah. So, I mean, the crowd is like cheering. I hate this. What is this about? Like, I feel like this has to be producer pushed like because the, the crowd's like cheering. On- no, what it is, it's like now there's like OGs. Versus the new women or like the new men, like, you know, it just feels gross. Like, do you really think these people would be like actively like cheering while in front of Shanae too? Like, I don't know. That feels gross to me. Well, half the people still hate Shanae. That's why. I guess. But like most of them are, are like over it at that point. So it's like whatever. No, they're, but... they're not, though, like because they're, they're obviously I guess. They've been segregated. So it's like Shanae is like a new person to this whole new. You saw the way. uh What's his name? Uh What's what's his name? Uh, Andrew was talking about how the week has been. It's been like pretty much a party for everybody, you know, on the right. beach. So and it's obviously not been the same thing. It's feel like dark and gloomy over at the States. So. Right. Um, so anyways, conversations continue to be had, um, you know, Jill and Jacob talk. Jill and Jacob, like, you know, as much as Jill has been annoying as hell, I feel like she handled it like a G. She did handle it like a G because Jacob is all like, you know, I don't really feel like this. And he's straight and like, up. I feel like Jacob was straight up. I mean, it was harsh, I yeah. guess. But but I mean, and she's like, I thought that's how you felt. But I thought you felt a certain way about me, but I guess not. And like, because, you know, she was so anxious, but she did even say like going into it. She's like, you know, I'm going to either be happy or I'm going to get my clarity. And she got her clarity and she bounced her way out of there because she's like i'm not you know i'm not sticking around that's not my deal so yeah i felt like that oh i mean good for jacob for not like feeling it i guess and spe- and and doing i know but like it. then he right now as of that point doesn't have anybody because you know i thought they were gonna like he was gonna hook up with sarah did that not happen or something no no it seems like i thought they were gonna try to be the vibe because you know they got left for the other people's people I don't know. I think Sarah is hot. I mean, yeah, I think so, too. Um, So, yeah, that ends up Jill goes home um, and Jacob continues to. It's so crazy how people go home and people still think they have a chance like and they do. I know. Well, I know because Shanae is like still sticking around, too. And I'm like, ooh. Well, now this is revenge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like people, if you get enough people that you've like pissed off, like you're like, all right, I could make out with you for a week to piss these two off if it works. True. Or at least to stick around and get my 15 minutes more. I mean, and she might get her revenge in, you know, indirect ways. Who's to say? But uh, uh, now the new boys have headed to the beach. So we got Tyler. We got that Australian guy, Adam. And we get Alex. Well, before that, Victoria had the conversation with Johnny, right? Um, and then we still had like yes. Brittany and Andrew talking. Yes. Um, yeah, the new boys are heading. And so J- Victoria and Johnny, Brittany and Andrew talk and their talk is pretty non-consequential because they both were vibing with other people and they're both like, we'll just be pals, like whatever. I mean, like, if Brittany came back, I think Andrew would have been about it. He would have been, but I think he also was like vibing with Jasenia, so they're good. And they both had a newer relationship, so they both were like, "All right, like they both were like, no ill will. Bygones be bygones. Have a good rest of your time at the beach." Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Um, but uh, and Serene and Brandon reunite, say that they love each other. They're definitely the top couple at the beach. If they don't get engaged at the end, I'd be surprised. Um. But uh, Johnny and Victoria's conversations aren't as sweet as, you know, these other ones tend to be because Victoria. How do you think this this went? 
I I think, you know, the first go, because they did two conversations, the first go, uh, Victoria, you know, tried her best to just, like, articulate what was going down and what she was feeling. Didn't do great. Second go around, I feel like she was well, trying. She went and, like, he was like, nah, and he, like, walked away, and then she, yeah. like, pulls him out, like, have you ever, I don't know if you've ever been in that situation, but like I've been in a situation where like the girl does like you, but she she's obviously like somebody else too, and she doesn't want to like ruin it. So she's coming back for more, you know, to, to have that conversation. And- right. And so when she comes back again, I feel like she's trying to double back on what she said in the first part. And I think she just needs to be honest because I think she's having the same issue that um that gabby had with johnny honestly is that they just like at their places in life aren't really matching like and even though johnny said that he would be all in with victoria victoria is like wanting to settle down and be a wifey and be a mommy well she's all like what do you want to do for a job or something like that what is your career yeah and he's all like am i not established enough for you like whatever like there's definitely there's definitely some contention there because i think she's looking for a certain dude and alex is that's why this whole checklist like he gets pissed that like, Johnny got pissed about the whole checklist bit because he's all like, I didn't have, like, a checklist waiting to, like, show out to these girls, like, that came in. I wasn't comparing them to my checklist. Like, how come you opened up and started comparing, like, Alex to yours? And she's like, well, and we're, mm, because I, I don't know. Just- things like it sounded like she was going to stay with Johnny until the guys get the new guys get to the beach. Yeah, and tell the new guys, and then she's like she all trippy and all quick. over oh, man. Alex, and so quick, and like you, and Johnny's so torn because like Johnny, like initial reaction made me think that he was just gonna leave. See, he's I think like, what Victoria's game here was that like she was also scared that other girls were gonna kind of move in on Alex because Alex is a catch, like you know. What I think saying? he's a catch for sure, and I think that's, and I think she also. I got, like, the vibe from her that she didn't want to initially move into, like, Alex because she's the type of girl that has a type. And I think she was all like, he's just like my type. Like, what if he burns me like a lot of my type has done before? And, like, but, you know, I think the difference there is that, I mean, like, Alex seems a little bit more genuine in the sense that he's not, like, whatever, Chase Rice or whoever the fuck she dated before. Sure. Um, she did it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris. Chris Souls. Chris Souls. So um, and then obviously she was on Peter Weber season, but and there's um, been a lot of rumors about her, like swirling around of her in the last week. Have you been hearing? There these? has been some rumors that she's not with either of these boys on the beach. <laughs> um, I, I mean, she. I. I. I don't know. I don't know. I. I don't know I don't if know. we can talk about those if it's too spoilery. But it might be too spoilery. So. Um, but yeah, um, essentially we know, we know what's going on guys. We just can't know too much. Like, you know, I try not yeah. to dive too much into this stuff, but, um, you can't help yeah, it. Just, it's around. It's, if they it's, just wrapped up this fucking season quicker and then maybe we could. Right. But, exactly. Um, um, and they can't even really talk about that much stuff because the show is yeah. still on, you know? Right. So she's all like, watch tonight. Um, so yeah, uh, what what goes on when these guys show up? These guys show up. You could tell, like, you know, obviously, um, Victoria's excited to see Alex. Johnny's pissed that she's excited to see Alex. Um, uh, Brittany's excited to see Tyler. They're vibing. They have their conversation to, like, make sure everything's Gucci. And then Jasenia pulls Tyler. Which was really weird because even the way she opened up their conversation was all like, hey, like, I know you're connected with Brittany now, who's connected with Andrew, who I'm connected with now. And I'm like, how, where is the rest of this conversation going? Like, <laughs> yeah, Jasenia is out there, man. I, so I don't even know because, I, and then obviously Brittany's like, what the frick? Like, I just, you know, made sure I ended things with Andrew and like, I'm interested in like Tyler and like, I don't know what the heck's going on. Because, like, I'm also confused. Like, I didn't even see any of that coming. But they also, like, kind of just, like, they just roll that into the 
how there's a lot of tension between the new girls and the old girls. Like, that's, like, the general vibe that they take for that. We don't get to learn anything more about that interaction. They're just all, like, the new girls are beefing with the old girls. The old girls are beefing with the new girls. Like, there's definitely... There's boy beef, too. There's some boy beef, too. And, I mean, there's going to be... There's going to be more boy beef, yeah, I'm sure. Brittany was even like, Andrew, control your girl. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Two minutes oh. after breaking up with him. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I love the mess, though. Like, I mean, they all deserve to be messed up, like, you know, because they're – there's no loyalty. Like, there is really no loyalty there between anybody. Like, you're dating people in front of people that you date. It's like date inception. I don't know where that where date it ends. Date inception. I don't know where it ends and where it begins, but it's just, like, going to end in a mess, you know? So, oh, for sure. And I'm here for it. I'm totally mm. here for it. Um, you know, we got previews of next week that look like, you know, some more people will be joining. Like how many, did they We're have a hundred ins- people like s- stowed away in a hotel? Like, to just Oh try- yeah. I mean, and they're bringing back some dudes that are the first of all, they're bringing back Justin, which mm. is going to mess up things with Rodney. It looks like they're bringing on Hayden from, um, Gabby and Rachel season, which I'm like, I don't want to see this man on my television. And then they're going to be bringing down the twins, which honestly I think are just going to be for comic relief. Like well, I don't. I, we got some like the twin twins have some interaction with Shanae. We got Justin messing up things for um, Eliza and Rodney. For Rodney, and then we got uh, Shanae and Jacob looking like they make up. Yeah, and then uh, Kate ends up switching up on Logan. On Logan. Damn, man. Like, Kate is... For Hayden? For Hayden's ass? Oh, my goodness. I um, mean, both of them are not my faves, but, like, come on. Oh, Logan, I, I prefer way more, but... I mean, I would prefer Logan, but I, I, I also don't really get the, the fight of either of these women over Logan. Like, I just don't see it, but... um. Well, anyways, yeah, that's what we got. Any other um, Bachelor Nation news? Yes, so, actually, Casey... <laughs> formerly on this the show uh posted recently about how he is still struggling to walk after four months now after leaving the show with the injury he's in a cast he's got all these screws in his leg he has three broken bones and has had three operations so um really really crazy shit uh but in other bachelor news we have two engagements or like i guess like both of them feel like just like official engagements because one of them is dean and kaylin who they've been together for three years uh you know a successful bachelor in paradise couple they you know they there was always like stuff that they thought they were like already like sort of engaged or like sort of like pseudo engaged but it was like this whole thing of like oh like if she buys me a new truck i'll buy her a ring or like whatever but um and he got her um, a 4.5 carat emerald cut diamond. Um, and I guess he almost lost it, orig- or he lost the original one. Um, but, you know, and that's why it took longer maybe than it should have. But they're officially engaged, even though, like, I guess they had already been, like, pseudo engaged. But I guess she teased that the possible of, like, the, the potential engagement in August being like spent the afternoon at Toyota picking up something special for Dean. Cause that was the whole bit was the whole like truck for ring kind of deal. So, um, I'm happy they're happy. And, you know, they seem like a, one of the most success, one of the more successful couples from the show. And then speaking of other bachelor in paradise couples, uh, Becca Kufrin and Thomas Jacobs got engaged again. Um, he officially proposed to Becca this time, um, after, you know, she proposed to him back in May. So now they're, they're doubly engaged. They're just fully engaged, which actually my friend Cassa and her fiance, Will did something similar. So, um, you know, congrats to them. Um, well, good. Uh, you know, I have no, not much to say about these engagements and, um, Casey's foot, but, um, we will be back next week with week six of bachelor in paradise. <laughs> Um, and I'm excited about it. What do you think? Are you happy that Becca is double engaged? Um, do you, are you waiting to see these couples show up next season? Like, um, like Ashley, Ashley and Jared, and Jared and have to make a baby in the boom, boom room. Yeah. Um, you know, that's weird. Uh, leave a comment 
about that. Uh, we'll shout you out next week. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>